I'm Staff Sergeant Adrian Doctor, and I'm a trumpet player in the United States Army Band Pershing Zone. The subject of this video is posture and how to hold our trumpet in order to maximize our playing. This is a video that would be good for players of all ages. In order to maximize your ability to get a full breath, which is really important when playing any brass instrument, you want to make sure that you are standing or sitting with great posture. Here are just a couple exercises that might help you find that great posture. First, you're going to stand up. And then you're going to flop your body over. And as you stand up, you want to stand up, starting with your lower back, moving through your upper back to your shoulder and ending with your shoulders. And you're, you're going to feel you, your body just becoming taller and taller, vertebrae by vertebrae. So this is what this would look like. So you're going to flop over. And then you're just going to slowly rise your body up, starting with your lower back, moving through your upper back and ending with your shoulders. After doing this exercise, you should just feel very tall. Another exercise that you can try is pretending that you are a puppet with a string in the back of your head, like this. And you're just gonna pull that string and you're just gonna imagine yourself being a puppet and standing very, very tall. So you pull the string in the back of your head. And this is an exercise that you can do um, while you're sitting as well. Just think of yourself as a puppet, pull that string, and the idea is that you're standing tall and that your head and spine are aligned when you're playing. You don't want to be too tall when your back is arched, but the idea is that you're sitting naturally erect and comfortable. Okay. So those are just a couple exercises that you can do to make sure that you're sitting or standing with really great posture. Now, when you play the trumpet, you can successfully play the trumpet with poor posture, but it's not... It's not helping you. When you're standing and, or sitting very tall with great posture, you're, doing, you're not gonna do anything but help yourself. Um, not only does it help us play better by getting a fuller breath, it also changes the way the audience sees you. Um, when they see somebody who's sitting or standing with poor posture, they might look like they're not confident or um, they just generally have a, a more negative view of you as a, as a performer. But when you're standing with really nice posture, you're going to be showing the audience that you are confident. Um, watch these two examples of me playing Theo Charlier's Etude Number no. 4. And you might see um, some examples of how posture might affect not only the way you can breathe and sound, but also the way the audience sees you. Now, regardless of whether or not one video sounded better than the other, the clip with the better posture looks more confident. I also felt that I could just take a fuller breath when I was sitting with better posture. If you feel more confident, you're going to sound more confident as well. While playing with better posture, I feel like that I was set up for better success. Additionally, remember that the trumpet is a directional instrument. The angle of your bell is going to change the sound. If you play at the ground, the sound that the audience hears will be quieter than if you aim your bell up in the air. Also, if you aim your bell higher than the rest of the, the members of your section, you might end up sticking out of the texture. So you want to be careful about that as well. All of this should be considered when you decide uh, how you're going to position your trumpet while you're playing. Also, you want to avoid putting your bell into your stand unless the music specifically calls for it or if you're going for a specific effect. Listen to the difference here.
Now that we are standing or sitting with great posture, let's quickly talk about holding our trumpets. Now let's pretend like we're about to eat lunch and you're holding a beverage in your left hand and a sandwich in our right hand. That's generally how we play our trumpet. You're gonna put your left hand around the valves like this and you're gonna put your left ring finger through this hole here, which is um, allow, allows us to operate the um, third valve slide. And then you're gonna put your thumb in this little saddle here, and that allows us to operate the first valve slide. So when we play our trumpet, we wanna make sure that all of the weight of our instrument is in our left hand. Um, the reason we have this ring here, it allows us to hold the trumpet in just our right hand and still play the valves, in the case we are only able to use our right hand. Um, and that might mean we're, we have to turn our page really quick, or um, you might be using your plunger mute or your hand for uh, an interesting effect there. So just make sure though, when you're playing and you have both hands available, all of the weight should go in your left hand, and then your right hand should really just be sitting on top operating those valves. Now, um, an exercise that might be helpful when finding the best position for your right hand is try just hanging your arm down at its side, and then you're going to bring your hand up, and notice how my fingers are curled like this. That's the natural position of our hand, and we want to apply that to playing the trumpet as well. Um, so you're gonna have your fingers slightly curled when we play the trumpet. So I like to put my hand down at its side, and then I bring the, my hand up to my trumpet and try to maintain that positioning with my fingers. It allows me to play the valves a lot more efficiently. Lastly, make sure that you bring your trumpet to you rather than bringing your body to your trumpet. So we're gonna stand or sit with great posture and simply we're gonna bring our trumpet to us, not the other way around. Now I know we went over a lot of information today, but I just wanna summarize a few things that I've talked about here. Overall, great posture will do nothing but help your ability to sound great on the trumpet. It affects your breathing. It also helps you feel more confident, which is going to help you sound more confident as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it to be helpful. Happy practicing.